A special group of America's top scientists were organized under the name Project Sign in December of 1947 to study the phenomena. There was no such thing at that time as MJ-12. The whole nasty business was contained within the shroud of secrecy. Project Sign evolved into Project Grudge in December of 1948. A very low-level collection and disinformation project named Blue Book was formed under Grudge. Sixteen volumes were to come out of Grudge, including the controversial Grudge 13, which I and Bill English saw read and revealed to the public. Blue teams were put together to recover the crashed discs and dead or alive aliens. The blue teams were later to involve into Alpha teams under Project Pounce and Project Pluto. During these early years, the United States Air Force and the Central Intelligence Agency exercised complete control of the alien secret. The Air Force was later to be dropped because it was a young service and had no political power and could not overcome the power of the Army and the Navy. In fact, the CIA was formed by presidential executive order, first as the Central Intelligence Group, for the express purpose of dealing with the alien presence. Later, the National Security Act was passed, establishing it as the Central Intelligence Agency. The National Security Council was established to oversee the intelligence community and especially the alien endeavor. It was not created specifically to form national policy. In fact, you can say the National Security Council was the forerunner of MJ-12. And there was another group between MJ-12 and the National Security Council, which is to come later. A series of National Security Council memos and executive orders removed the CIA from the sole task of gathering foreign intelligence and slowly but thoroughly legalized direct action in the form of covert activities at home and abroad. On December 9, 1947, Truman approved issuance of NSC-4, entitled Coordination of Foreign Intelligence Information Measures, at the urging of Secretaries Marshall, Forrestal, Patterson, and the Director of the State Department's Policy Planning Staff, Kennan, who, by the way, were all members of the Council on Foreign Relations. The Foreign and Military Intelligence Book One, Final Report from the Select Committee to Study Governmental Operations with Respect to Intelligence Activities. This directive empowered the Secretary of State to coordinate overseas information activities designed to counter communism. A top secret annex to NSC-4 instructed the Director of Central Intelligence to undertake covert psychological activities in pursuit of the aims set forth in NSC-4 and secretly was to run a psychological operation against the American public to hide the presence of UFOs and aliens. The initial authority given the CIA for covert operations under NSC-4A did not establish formal procedures for either coordinating or approving these operations. How many of you understand what I just said to you? Not too many. Let me explain it.
What this means, the initial authority given the CIA for covert operations under NSC 4 Alpha did not establish formal procedures for either coordinating or approving these operations. That means they had to answer to no one. It means go do what you gotta do, don't bring any dirt back here, because we don't want to see it, just get the job done. Don't ask anybody, don't report to anybody. That's exactly what it means.